So today we're looking at two-step equations in algebra. And remember, an equation is a sentence in math that contains an equal sign. And the equal sign tells you that the expression on the left is equivalent to the expression on the right. And to keep in mind, an equation must always remain balanced. If you subtract, multiply, divide, add the same number from each side of an equation, the two sides remain equal. So similar to what we learned in one-step equations, we're now going to follow two-step equations. And we still use the idea of inverse operations. And we're going to work on the side that has the variable. Remember, the variable is a placeholder to represent a certain number. Here we need to solve for n. We have 4n plus 2 equals 10. And remember, the number and the variable written next to each other shows us that we need to multiply. So our two operations are addition and multiplication and it's going to take us two steps to solve it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that 2. So we're going to balance out our equation by doing the inverse operation of addition, which is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. Now these cancel out, and we're left with 4n equals 8. Now, our next step is to take the inverse operation of multiplication which will be division. And we're going to divide both sides by 4. Again, working on the side where there is the variable first. Now, 4 divided by 4 is 1, so we're left with n equals 2. Now, again, from what we talked about in one-step equations, it's important to check your answer. So we're going to rewrite the equation, and we're going to replace the variable with our number. And we need to see if our sides are balanced. 4 times 2 is 8. And again, we solve using the order of operations. So we're going to multiply first, then we're going to add. And we have 10 equals 10. And our sides remain balanced. Now looking at another one where we involve subtraction and multiplication. So again, we're going to look at it and we're going to do subtraction first. That's our in, what is our inverse operation of subtraction? Addition. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. And these cancel each other out. And we get 3n equals 15. Now we're left with multiplication. And again, we need to work on the side with the variable. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And we're left with n equals 5. If we rewrite our equation and replace our variable with the number 5, again thinking order of operations, multiplication first, 3 times 5 is 15, and we can see that we get 10 equals 10, and our sides check out. Now let's continue that with a division. So here we see we have division and addition. So we're going to begin with our inverse operation, which would be subtraction. And we're going to take 5 from both sides. These cancel out, and we have 8. Now we're left with division. The inverse operation for division would be multiplication. So we're going to multiply by 4 on both sides. 4 over 1 times n over 4, 4 fourths n. Now 4 over 4 is equal to 1 whole. So we're just left with n, the variable, 1n. And 8 times 4 is 32. Now let's plug in our number to check to see if our sides are balanced. And we have 32 divided by 4 plus 5 equals 13. Order of operations, we're going to do division first. And we get 8 plus 5 equals 13. And 13 equals 13. Our sides check.